Alright, welcome back to Jump One Half. Everything exploded last time, and we're not going to Beach World anymore. Man, th that definitely got me good. It really looked like a normal world where you just go through to the end, and then this happened. Looks like I can go down. Apparently I actually can, and it brings me back to Cave World for some reason. I guess it would make sense, considering they're both underground. Brick Joke is by Xfix. This is a secret exit level, so definitely scary. Oh, they're breaking everything. Oh, so I broke that too, and I broke that too. The coins are also bricks, okay. How many things can we make bricks in this level is the question, I suppose. Are any of these real? Well, that Koopa disappeared. I'm assuming this, okay, so I can't run on these, but the shells can fly off of them. Good to know. The wall of fireballs acts as a pretty nice shield, which is great. I don't even know why I'm trying to go into the pipe. That worked. Good thing I still have my uh, bigness. Uh, apparently the shell just disappeared. So I can just bop through and get the coin. I wouldn't be surprised if there was another mo moment like that that made sure that you're big, and unfortunately I lost that fire flower, which sucks because that was very helpful. Oh hey, another fire flower. I guess that's how I'm going to be given power-ups in this level, is just by bouncing through the ceiling for them. I'm wondering, I'm starting to wonder now, if the fire flower was inside the bricks, I'm not sure that I actually need the bricks, I mean, to be big to break the bricks. That would be nice if that's actually the case. Whoops. Wow, it actually managed to hit me at that spot. That's surprising. Jump. Okay, um, whoa. You're there too. Let's just go over there. Oh, those kill each other, and my coin hap- I mean, my fireballs happen to fry that last one into a coin, so that's pretty uh, nice. Whoa, it's so weird to jump into a coin and then uh, break it instead of collecting it. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Can I get up there? It looks like I can just get up here and run along the ceiling. I wonder if there's anything up here. I'm assuming there isn't really. Okay, there's two more dragon coins. Welcome to warp zone. Oh, okay, this is the secret exit. Hmm. I guess I'll go grab it then, as long as I'm here. <laughs> well, that went well. It saves- I got to save one dragon coin. Whoops. No, don't swap. I'll continue being demo. Whoops. I already know who made the level, so that was a waste of time. Okay, so- it's pretty clear that that first obstacle is just designed to so that the shells collide all the time because just to teach you the gimmick of the level before uh, you're thrown headlong into it. Let's continue just frying these guys. Uh, okay, yeah, I can actually slip it under the pipe entirely. That guy got me last time, I was not expecting that to happen. Poink, goodbye. Alright, it reversed and came back, but that's fine. Oh yeah, right, I can stand on coins, I don't have to be cautious. Whoa! Wow, that almost killed me. If I was standing on that block when it uh, went out from under me, that would have been bad. Whoops, gotta break some more bricks to get up there and also do a slightly better jump. All right, can't do that. Uh, that's a disco. There we go, managed to get all of them pretty much. Oh, didn't even see the coop up there. I was like, how does, is that uh, yellow shell so speed thrown at me, but Goodbye. 
All right, now, now I can continue from where I left off. Whoops. Okay, I really do need a power up to hit those bricks, so I really don't want to lose this fire. Especially because I don't. I think that last dragon coin was actually encased in. Oh, I can break them with the shells myself. So it's not quite as bad, as long as I don't also waste all the shells. <laughs> well, that's one way to kill him. Oh, the disco breaks this one on his own. So I'd have a way in regardless. Whoops. Oh well. There we go. Having a midpoint is really nice. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one right before the end where it was like, oh, I can break them with the cape too. Whoops. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there's one dragon coin right before the end where I needed to have a power up, so I'd better be really cautious with this. Well, uh, I know that it just breaks that. Okay, there we go. Bye. Wow, that was weird. Point of the day is I still have a shell, so that's good. These, these still look like coin guides, and then they're just not. I guess I'll just collide this with the shell I have. Let's just inch forward. What's with the disco? Do I see anything in the wall? Not yet. Disco's just gonna go ahead of me, apparently. I'm hoping I get more capes soon. I'm definitely paying attention to the walls, because I wouldn't be surprised if I need to go over there at some point with my cape. Alright. There we go. Managed to stang myself that shell. I'm hearing lots of noises. I didn't... I wanted to be careful with scrolling the screen over, though. Oh, hey, there's a second cape. That's good. It means that me losing the one earlier wasn't really that big a deal. I mean, I did have to go through half the level to get it, but thankfully nothing else went wrong. I have not seen another dragon coin yet. It's definitely not on the secret exit path. Okay, there's one. I, yeah, I figured I'd loop around to go get to it. Well, that works. Now I can just plop you. Hey, okay, this, this looks familiar. I, assuming this is a deliberate reference to Super Mario Brothers 1, so that's a very distinct block formation. Um, oh, there's the last one. Those two are pretty much right next to each other, and now let's just break this and get going. I've been taking my time a lot. And I... no? What does it mean by no? I was supposed to go a different direction. I'm not sure where I was supposed to go, though. Uh, maybe in here? There we go. Good. And now I have a star, apparently. What do I do with this? Well, I managed to get a 1-up. Point of advice, every single tile in this level is a brick. Don't die. Also, run with X or Y button. Is there like a Kaizo trap here? I'm kind of worried that there's a Kaizo trap of some sort here. Okay, maybe the point of advice was just another, hey, here's this obvious thing you should have learned a long time ago joke. <laughs> well, that, that's definitely a relief. It was a dark, dark and foggy night and slaughter bond. Vote now on which level you want to see. I haven't received any votes yet, so I think I'm going to continue. Can't spell slaughter without laughter, so I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of laughter in this level. Oh boy. This is kind of a creepy level so far, and I also lost my cape already, which is great. Maybe I'll get another one right here. Nope, all I get is this lousy fire flower. I think 
I don't see any uh, holes yet, so I'm going to keep the fire flower for now. Let's go fast because I want to get that dragon coin for sure. Okay, uh, now's when I go. Dang it. That was unfortunate. Right, now it's just not with it this time. There we go. Much better. Okay, I figured I had to go there, but I'm glad there was also a platform. I'm glad I waited a moment to see the platform too, or else I would have definitely been jumping on the saws instead. Ah, crud. Nope, didn't quite get that. Oh, well, I'm gonna continue at this point. I'm far enough in that I don't really want to restart. Whoops. Let's say on the left side of this platform. Oh wow, is this going to be a midpointless level? Dang, I'm not sure. Oh, there's an invisible coin block. Well, I discovered that just in time to not be able to use it. Whoops. This section's actually kind of tricky. These saws, I find, are kind of hard to avoid. I, I forgot there was a platform down there, so I was just bouncing across that other saw. I shouldn't have done that. In, like, uh, invisible coin blocks hiding a dragon coin in a scrolling section type of things. Oh, well... Um, I guess I'm just gonna stay over here because I don't think I can get back very easily. Darn it! I was, for some reason I was really expecting a platform there, and there was not one. I guess the coins are indicating where I should, whether I should go over or under the saws, in some cases. I had just been kind of winging it before, but I guess that's how you're supposed to navigate this level. I hadn't really been paying that much attention to the coins. Well, that worked, apparently. There we go. Now I'm hoping this is just the end. I'm not sure why I was randomly expecting a Kaizo trap there. <laughs> it wouldn't even work very well, even if you wanted to do that. Oh, I guess... Okay, it does stop. I was just kind of wondering there if it would actually continue scrolling past the goal or not. Well, I didn't start reading that level correctly until the last second. That was just me being a dummy. Let's go the other way. It was a dark and foggy night by S.A. Jewers. I'm assuming this is going to be uh, a darkness gimmick level of some variety, but there are lots of different varieties of darkness gimmick level, so who knows? <laughs> it literally says fog. You know, out of all the varieties I could have been expecting, it was definitely not that one. All right. Another level that's not generous enough to give us a cape. This fog doesn't really obscure things much, so it doesn't seem too bad. Alright, bullet bills, this one... Okay, if it came from the right side, that would have sucked, probably. Dang it. <laughs> I was hoping for that not to fire there. Um, that is not useful. That was also pretty bad of me. Whoa, there's a mushroom up there. Well, I can get that on future playthroughs, but for this one I'll have to just settle for the dragon coin. Oh, thank goodness for these. 
much better than riding the saw. Um, where to go? Apparently nowhere. Oh, I gotta use you to get up. Thank you, friendly Torpedo Ted. I've got that too. The Switch Palace has definitely made that a lot easier. Unfortunately, I grabbed that uh, both after the midpoint, because I didn't even see it until I had gotten the midpoint. That's a bit unfortunate, but this level hasn't been treating me too badly so far, so I'm hoping I can... Oh, there's a second power-up up there. That's weird. Okay. The muncher there actually makes it easier, <laughs> because it gives that little Sparky another tile to go around. I thought I heard a mushroom. I must really be imagining things now. There we go. Oh. Well, that muncher definitely makes things harder, especially when I'm busy being a dummy. Nope. I was hoping I could get that with the pipe. It was hard to see. But another Switch Palace helps me out. This is definitely a level that would... <laughs> where the Switch Palaces make a huge difference. Like, it's not even funny. <laughs> so, um... That was a weird... Okay, I probably want to... Uh, well, I probably could have just gone over to those tiles, but I definitely don't want to spin jump over those saws, which is what I would normally do there. Is he gonna leave his cycle and bounce over? It looks like he'll do it eventually. Eh, maybe not. Let's just do that. <laughs> Scroll to get a better view. Where am I actually... This, this moon is definitely tricky to get. It definitely... Like, it doesn't even look that intimidating, but I know if I were to go for it, it would not work at... Ah, oh, darn it. I thought that would be the only horizontal one. I didn't expect it to actually go vertical. They're only blind in the sense that it's not easy to see. Okay. Now we're doing this right. Oh, there's the last dragon coin. Oh, nice. There's <laughs> one up here, too. I wasn't expecting that, but... I was just trying to jump over the pipe, as I usually try to do. <laughs> well, I made it, so I'm not dead. There have... Oh, this is the end, so it doesn't matter if there's power-ups or not in this level. Another 50! I can't believe it. I swear this has to be the most number of natural 50s I've gotten in a hack ever. Well, that was a surprisingly fun, easy, and pleasant level for uh, Death Redscape. Volcanic Valley by Frozen Quills. Last time, I think his level was uh, very fitting for his name, and this time it's not. Okay, so we've got footfalls and respawning at the top of the screen again gimmick. Or maybe just for the first two seconds, I'm not really sure. Wow. Well, that's a very good start. I gotta get my head in the game, apparently. Oh. Well, that's why I didn't have momentum last time. <laughs> oh, the Volcano Lotus is gonna just drop too. This is a very strange obstacle. Okay, the timing does change, though, on when he releases his- Whoa! Good enough. Oh, man. The falling baseball truck is really weird. This definitely feels like a gimmick you'd- Well, that was not very threatening. Yeah, this definitely feels like a gimmick you'd see in Yump more than Jump, and also I was not... I did not do that very well. I did not do that very well either. <laughs> Dang it, I did that again. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to use the chuck to bounce. It's kind of an awkward thing, though, to bounce off that guy. I'm just gonna get more momentum. There we go. So these footballs are going to be out of sync because of the water there. OK, 
Okay, there, there's my chance to go. And I'll just go again. Well, how was I supposed to- oh! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Normally the things respawning are things I'm supposed to dodge, not things I'm supposed to grab. Well, I'm not supposed to swim across that water. That would have actually been kind of neat if there was an obstacle there that would be interesting, <laughs> but... For a second I was thinking that standing on that was going to cause a snake block to go. Oh boy. I'm going to duck jump for this one for sure. See you later, ninjas. I have not seen a lot of dragon coins yet. Well, considering I just got one, I'm pretty sure there's none that are even higher up there. Okay, you're not gonna respawn. Okay, I'm gonna grab this since there's danger. I wanted to check around for a dragon coin first, but... Alright, so what's the deal here? Is that a dragon coin? Yeah, I'm thinking that's a dragon coin. So I need to jump aligned with the green arrows, I guess. It didn't really work. This isn't a reset pipe, right? I would need to actually die if I wanted to. And I don't even see any power-ups around here, which is unfortunate, because if I had one, I could just tank a hit there and it would be no problem. Whoa! I did not think there was a potobo there. Making a lot of bad assumptions today. <laughs> Well, I know what those blue ones mean now. Yeah, it was pretty close there, but pretty close doesn't actually cut it. See, I'd really like to actually have both my power-ups when I go through here, but... This is definitely a level where power-ups are useful, so... There's a lot of projectiles and falling things. Plop, plop. Oh, there's a third one. I couldn't see that until I uh, didn't have any more time to make that decision. I'm assuming this is going to be a level with a 1-up checkpoint. Just by the number of dragon coins I've gotten so far. Oh, wow. That's a pretty tight space to sit between. Okay, so I'm supposed to hit that. Uh, but if I don't, it's okay, because the shell will just respawn again. There we go. That took me longer than it probably should have, but it doesn't really matter, because there were no stakes there. There might be stakes in some of the future ones, though. Okay, so you're not gonna fall again, which is good. Okay, you're gonna fall again now, which is bad, I guess, but... Or maybe that was a different chuck. Okay, so as soon as I go up there, they're probably just gonna jump over my head. Well, they didn't jump over my head. They were actually timed perfectly to hit me there. I thought it would probably be like the other obstacle from before, but... And, and the only trick was just not panicking. But thankfully I had my rosary, so... Okay, this is an infinitely falling one. This gets rid of the snake, okay. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Now I can actually go up here. I just need to jump to it. No crazy acrobatics off the chuck or something like that. Whoops. Maybe this won't be a one-up midpoint level? Uh, maybe... Okay. I've got, like, one shot to get this. Well, that's not good. Oh, there's a reset pipe there? <laughs> Well, at least I managed to thread the needle between those mungers, so I know that now, but still, I have to go through quite a lot of stuff again. 
and it looks like I missed a dragon coin, unless it's up at the top where I wasn't able to see it. Oh, it's a reset pipe. Well, that's not really what I was hoping for, but it's better than dying. There we go. Now let's try to do it right this time. Okay, this time, I know, there's just a reset pipe down there. This is a lot harder because I'm small. Well, I can't make it over there anyway, so... There we go. Now let's take a good look up here first. Nope, there's nothing. Oh yeah, right. The dragon... Wasn't there a dragon coin that I just missed earlier and I actually saw? I can't remember anymore. That's weird. It's going that way. Is this just a circle? <laughs> like, what's the trick here? I expected to be going to the bridge and then going to the castle or something, but... Whoops. No. Oh, the dragon coin is over there. Okay. So there was something across the water. I'm assuming the easiest way to go about this is just to do this section as intended and then go up to the water later. Yeah, because it's easy to reach it from here. Well, I was thinking it would be cool to put something here. I, th I just expected it to be the way on. Well, that's it for that one. Ghost Bones. I think this will be the last level for today. Rav Egg. I thought, didn't he have some pretty neat uh, contest levels? And also, I just messed that up pretty bad right off the gate. Well, at least I know what the gimmick is now. Okay, this is kind of no joke. Okay, I should have just waited till it was visible. This definitely isn't the easiest... Uh, possible thing. Well, I revived. Also, how did I fail to spin jump on him there? I guess it's telling me to go for the coins and not to go on the blarg, but... Okay. Dragon coin number one is safe and secure. I think this might be a level where I want to scroll it. Actually, with that obstacle, probably not, because it's probably timed. Uh, with the speed I have to go. Okay, that's not too bad. Just gotta wait here now. There we go. I don't think there's anything up there. It looked like there were coins, but... Oh, okay. You guys are coming back. So that first obstacle was kind of an anomaly so well, an anomaly so far. So far the rest hasn't been nearly as bad, and that did not work. I mean not when I say bad, I don't mean bad, I just mean hard actually. Wait, where was I supposed to go? Oh, I guess I was just supposed to wait on the thing for a while. Okay. See, once it starts going up, it's kind of hard to get that jump right, because you're going to hit your head on the ceiling if you wait even a moment too long. Like, it makes it so that you can't really react to it. You have to start moving before you actually... Uh, before they actually start moving, which makes it really hard to time in comparison to everything else, where... You can just react to where the bones are and then go. At least that's what it seems like to me. Alright, grab my cape, which is always nice to get. Let's go to get up here. Alright. Going back down 
makes this a lot easier because I don't have to time with the platform. I can just, you know, walk to it. Okay, uh, let's just kill you. Go fast. Dang it. Maybe that wasn't the best spot to wait. Oh man, there's two blocks there too. Okay, so I've got to thread the needle all the way up and then uh, walk over. S okay, that's not too bad. Just reverse direction every time you get past a bone and you're good. I probably want to bounce on him when he's like that. Oh, I don't know how fast these things are going to go, so... It would probably be harder not to get that dragon coin than to get that dragon coin. <laughs> Bop. Well, I got caught by him too, but it doesn't matter at all. Hmm. Well, even if I die, it doesn't make a difference. But I didn't die, so I'll take that. Okay. So I... I'll go through the bones, and I won't. So that's the thing to know for this section. <laughs> go back, grab that. Alright, I can bop this guy too. See ya. It doesn't really help me, I guess. I could have just walked past as well, but... Well, this is a lot easier because, uh, uh, because of my power-up thingy that allows me to bounce on trucks like that. As long as I know about it, it's almost always a good thing. <laughs> Dang it, I should have ducked that. You don't normally have P-Speed in Super Mario World unless you're speedrunning the game and you know exactly where everything is. Wow, I bounced on him practically as far left as he could have been and somehow that still worked out. Ugh, this isn't a ninji. Ugh. Ugh, wow, how did I... Why did I do that? That was just dumb. Oh wow, I was expecting him to hit his head on the ceiling. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to kill him. Oh, it doesn't matter, it's just for one of those. Thank goodness. I've already got all the dragon coins, so I don't know what I was worried about. That worked nicely. Oh no. Oh no, I should have gone. I, I tried to backtrack and uh, find a way to reset the obstacle, but that doesn't actually make sense, so it didn't work. Okay, this time we go fast. Instead of panicking. There we go. Doesn't look like there's actually a way to get the 50 here. Well, whatever. <laughs> Not unless you had a cape in that last section. I guess capes were providing the level of nothing else, but... That level was definitely interesting. I do think it's really weird that the first obstacle was by far the hardest part of the level. Perhaps I just didn't find the best way through it, though. Anyway, see you next time.